Well, Clayton, we've been talking about it the whole show, and I want to welcome in Mark Cowden. I actually had the uh, uh, privilege to talk to him uh, a little bit earlier today, and he's been studying paranormal accounts in the UK and Ireland for the past several years, and he's been featured in various TV shows over there. Most recently, he's been working as a paranormal forensic specialist for Northern Ireland's Greatest Haunts. He's the author of a book called Spirit Voices, where he documents uh, this work he's been doing, and he's managed to do something that few people thought possible, Clayton. Pretty pretty amazing stuff. Yeah, for the folks who never heard of this before, you, you can capture things on digital audio or digital video, which we think are people from the other side. People have passed on. But now for the very first time, he says he's managed to capture a conversation between a living person and a dead person. Here's just a little clip of that conversation. Take two, Mark is monitoring Andy and Marion's conversation. If he can pick up and interpret any unexplained voice phenomena, He'll feed the word straight back to Darren in room 21. An extraordinary first for paranormal investigation. This is like a moon landing, because if this comes off, it is going to be something that's never been done, that's never been attempted before, as far as to my knowledge, and it's certainly never been achieved. Were you shot, sir? Did you shoot somebody? Right, I got something that sounds like, please stop. Right after where he asked where he got shot. Please stop. I can feel it. You don't need to be here. You don't need to be here, sir. Right, when she says you don't have to be here, it's something like they won't let me or they don't love me or something like that. All you need to do is grasp that hand. Will you carry me? Can you God. carry me? This is my whole life's work. This is somebody hearing what I hear. And it's, it's, it's just phenomenal. It's absolutely phenomenal. Well, as you can see from the video that we showed, uh, it is a fascinating topic, and we have the man behind this uh, achievement of communicating with the dead. I'm talking, of course, about Mark L. Cowden. Mark, welcome to the Paranormal Report, and thanks for taking some time. We had some technical issues, so we've done this a couple of times, so I, I hope I can get it right this time. Thanks for joining us. My pleasure. Happy to be here. Um, so let's talk about this. Um, how did you get involved in, in, in the paranormal? Is kind of your background that of an audio technician? Is that where you come from? Well, the same as anybody else. I've always had that interest in the unknown, you know, and even I remember back when I was a kid, we used to go chasing legends, and if there was a, a tale or a story of a ghost, you know, we'd be in checking it out. <laughs> went into work in the TV and, and film and was a become an audio and visual technician, so I kind of bolted the two together and got on to the BBC show. You know, as we saw from the clip, uh, this, the medium who was there, uh, Marion Goodfellow, she seemed to be very uh, touched by the fact that uh, she was able to communicate with the person from the other side in real time, you guys think. Talk a little bit about her reaction to it. Well, if you take it from a medium's point of view, I mean, they, they spend their whole life with this gift and they hear these things and they see these things and they get these messages and all they can do is tell people about it. Mm -hmm. You know, that nobody else ever gets the chance to hear what they hear. And then, you know, in this, this clip for the first time, somebody was able to hear what she was hearing and it was an emotional experience for her because these people, they go through a lot of pain and trauma in their lives. A lot of people say they're fakes. A lot of people say they're making this stuff up and maybe some of them do, but Marion being an actual legitimate medium, you know, it was a touching moment for her, you know. Sure. She's been the whole of her life, and this is the first time. So w let's explain exactly what the difference is here. Of course, we've all heard, or most of us, I think, have heard uh, electronic voice phenomena where you go into a haunted house and you, you, you tape with a recorder, and then on playback you hear things back. What, um, what is the difference in this case? How is this different than just capturing EVP? Well, like you say, normally when you... EVP, a lot of times you don't even know you've captured it until later on whenever you review the evidence and this, that, and the other. But over the two or three years we've been doing the show, I've, I've wanted to, 
to make this process a little bit more user friendly. I don't want to wait until the next day or the, the next week to find out that I've got something groundbreaking when I'm just sitting there on my own in the room and nobody else is around. You know, we wanted we wanted to try to give the results as we were as we were getting them. Yeah. So, so, so this actually, she could hear back this entity communicating to her, and she could change her responses based on what the entity said. Is that correct? Well, basically, the um, she was in it was in a hotel. She was in one room. I was in another room. And basically, this was all filmed live. So she was getting responses, but she didn't know what I was getting. She couldn't hear what I, I was see. getting. So at the same time as she was getting responses, I was feeding what I was getting back to another person in that room so we could both verify that we were getting kind of the same things. Okay. And, um, and that's how we did it. This, the person that I fed the information to would say to Marion what, what I got as a reply. Wow. Marian, she, she would actually get the intuition of the apply, reply at the same time. Oh, that's and fantastic. What, what you see is a few minutes, but this conversation went on for 45 minutes. Wow. And, and it's something that's interesting. We've talking before this taping. Talk about the technology behind doing this. Yeah, yeah, this is a good one. I mean, I've spent the last 10 years of my life developing audio systems and, and working with different methods to record this stuff. And we've got some groundbreaking results. I mean, I've done everything from using musical instruments as preamps to record infrasound and ultrasound. Mm -hmm. to monitoring frequencies and waveforms on you know advanced recording equipment and this particular instance we didn't use any of it we we had two laptops and a microphone that we, <laughs> we used. yeah and that, that's the great thing you can do so much i i mean our podcasts we're able to talk to people all over the world uh just by using consumer grade equipment it's uh it's unbelievable what we can do these days now uh i know that this uh show is popular in the uk and ireland uh any plans in bringing it to the u.s Yes, there. Well, there's. We're not bringing this show to the U.S., but myself and one of the other cast members. I, my agent is over in uh, Los Angeles at the minute, negotiating a deal to uh, bring a series which uses 50% scientific, 50% spiritual methods into paranormal investigation, and we're hopefully going to bring something to the United States that hasn't really been seen before. Well, uh, that sounds great. And uh, your current program, I know that you have a website where folks can find out more. Where can folks go on the web to for find out more about what Mark Cowden and crew are doing over there in Ireland? You can go on to www.greatesthaunts.com and you will get all the info on us. You will get any public appearances that we make. And if we get any more groundbreaking footage, you'll hear about it there. Sounds great. Well, Mark, thanks for taking time and thanks for going through our technical trials and continued success. And please uh, don't be a stranger. Let us know what else you've got going on. Absolutely. Thanks for having me.